Hello everybody, how are you? Guys, it's a gorgeous day here. I'm excited to spend um, some cool time in my stamp room where it's not so hot. <laughs> um, I am very happy to be here with you guys today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you're ready for a little stamping inspiration. We're gonna be creating three cards today and we're gonna be focusing on one bundle. And this has been kind of a popular bundle in our catalog. Uh, this is the Posted For You bundle on page 81. So if you've got your catalog handy, you can go check that one out. This is the one bundle that I gotta tell you, it just, it jumped out at me when I first saw the new catalog. I have always had an affection for postage stamps, not postage stamps, but stamps rubber stamps that look like postage. Um, I just remember when I was a brand new demonstrator and a brand new stamper, I used to love to create postage looking um, images and things. So I was very excited about this one. I hope you are too. All right, guys, today is uh, Thursday, July 16th. It is noon central time. If you are on live with me, I wanna welcome you to the live. Hey, we're over in the chat box chatting um, my Moderator extraordinaire, Brenda Paulson, is there to answer your questions. She is the most amazing moderator ever. I'm so blessed to have her. Uh, that way I can focus on doing the stamping with you today, but she's gonna be there to take care of you. Um, she's, she's so awesome. All right, hey, while we're doing um, the presentation today, I want to encourage you to comment if you're live there in that chat room. But listen, if you're watching the replay, well, welcome to you as well. But if you're watching the replay, be sure to leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. And I'll have the opportunity after the live is over to go in and read your comments. And I look forward to that. Um, if you like what you see today as you're watching, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up on YouTube. I always love that. And um, I think we're gonna go ahead and get started. I've got some great stamping projects. One last sip of coffee. Let me tell you guys, it's a three cup of coffee day. Mm. It's been crazy. Um, and I want you to make sure you guys remember to stay tuned to the end of the video and I'll show you what we will be creating next time. Are you ready? All right, here we go. I'm going to flip my camera. So I always tell you, look away if you get motion sick. I don't want anyone getting sick trying to watch one of my videos. That would just be terrible. Nice view of my ceiling. Okay. And I'm gonna get my iPad all set so that I can I can see what you guys are seeing and I can kind of glance over at your comments. Okay, so I said we were gonna be using the Posted For You bundle, so let me kind of show it off. This is a seven piece stamp set. And you see we've got three postage style images, but you know what, those can stand alone as well. This is the punch that you can get when you purchase it as a bundle. Uh, it comes with this wonderful postage stamp punch. Love the sentiments. I got to tell I'm a font girl. I don't know if anyone else is. I kind of go gaga over fonts. And I loved the, li the light, scripty font. So we have Ascending Love Your Way, Just a Note, Happy Birthday. And then I love the little postage um, postmark that says Special Delivery. We're going to be using all the images in this stamp set today. And of course, we're gonna be using the punch as well. And uh, I always like to mention the catalog and show you, I mean, look at these great samples they have waiting for you in the catalog. That's on page 81. And uh, love this, love how they added all those images on one. And then here they've just stamped. No postage punch, nope, just stamped. So really great little stamp set, page 81. But remember, look down here for that bundle and save 10%. I want you guys to save money. All right, I am going to uh, bring in the supplies for my very first card. And we are gonna be creating a sweet little love card. And today's cards, I'm gonna tell you, we're gonna be doing a lot of paper saving. You guys know I love to find ways to cut my paper and things as I work so that um, I don't have to pull out additional cardstock. We love that. Okay, so my card base today, this is my uh, Flirty Flamingo. And it is cut five and a half by eight and a half, and I've scored it at four and a quarter. Hey, before I get too far, I do wanna let you know, these measurements are gonna be available on my uh, blog. And uh, Brenda, would you mind showing the link to that? That would be awesome. She'll give you the link. So don't worry about writing any of these measurements down. She'll have the link for you. There'll be photos, all the measurements, supply list, all that good stuff. All right, I've got two pieces of Whisper White. 
Uh, these are three and three quarters by five. And you know what? I do believe this one should have been bigger. I think I cut it wrong. I sure did. Guys, would you change that? Would you make that four inches by five and a quarter? Yep. Yeah, yeah, let's get that out of here. That's the wrong thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I've also got a piece of balmy blue cardstock, one and three quarters by four and a quarter. And my favorite ribbon of all time is the silver metallic edge ribbon. And that is just a small knot that we're gonna use. And then we're also gonna be using another product that I love, and these are the Artistry Bloom sequins. They're adhesive backed, they're gorgeous, they shine, I'm all about that. So those are gonna be some of our little embellishments we're gonna use on our card. All right, so um, I did say I like to save when it comes to my uh, punching and using my cardstock. So on my first card, here's what I'm gonna do. I am going to take my punch and I'm just gonna line it up here on the edge of the punch so I can get my little focal image. Now what we're gonna do here, we're gonna end up covering that up. But see, I didn't have to bring in any additional cardstock. So let me set this off to the side while we work right here. So we're gonna work on our stamping. I better bring in some grid paper because we're gonna be working with the blends. How many of you guys love the Stampin' Blends? I know I sure do. Uh, we're gonna use a Memento Black ink pad today. And we're gonna start with that love image. All right, let's ink that up. We're gonna stamp that right there in the center of our postage stamp. Okay, let me move this out of the way because now we're gonna do some coloring. And uh, you know what, do, is, is it just me or do you guys like to let your black ink dry? I'm kind of one of those that just always like to let it dry for a little bit. Um, I'm gonna start with my Granny Apple Green blend. So I've got my light and dark, and I'm gonna actually start with the dark. And this is how I like to work with the blends. I like to just draw, oh yeah, like drawing is so not my thing, but I'm literally just tracing over those veins in the leaves. And then I'm gonna come along and get that one right there. Okay, whoops, I missed one. There's another additional leaf right there. So we're doing that with the dark. Now we're gonna come in with the light, and this is where we get a blend. And when the, the dark and the light come together, this is what's gonna give us some really great shading. So it gives us kind of this nice depth that you just really, it pulls out this great depth. Um, I'd love to hear from you if you're a fan of the Stampin' Blends. <laughs> I think a lot of us are. Once I discovered them, I couldn't get enough of Stampin' Blends. I was an anti-coloring girl. I just did not like to color until Stampin' Up! came out with Stampin' Blends, and now I'm all about the coloring. It's like one of my favorite things to do. I hope that you guys can see. Yeah, there's some really nice blending going on in there. Uh, I'm gonna take my Balmy Blue Dark, and this one we're not really gonna do any blending, but I'm gonna color the uh, outline image here for love. Give it that little pop of the Balmy Blue. Such a nice color combination. And now we're gonna come in with Flirty Flamingo. And remember what I just did where I did the dark and then I went over the light? Well, you know what? These flowers kind of have some little detailed lines in them as well. And then you can just kind of get, I don't know, I'm just kind of scribbling there at the bottom. That was the, <clears throat> excuse me, that was the dark. Now I'll come in with the light. And you wanna make sure you're going right over that dark. So these are alcohol-based markers, and what's happening is that alcohol is blending um, and kind of pulling in the two colors together. And yeah, it's like I said, it's what gives us that great detail. All right, I have that done. So I'm gonna move these out of the way for just a second. And now we are going to work with the card base. This is the one that we punched, remember? This is optional. <clears throat> but I use the detailed trio punch down, down here. I really wanted to kind of focus on negative space and how to use negative space. So this is optional, but I thought it was really pretty. So we're gonna place that cardstock down there in the corner. And that gives us just a nice little, uh, <clears throat> I don't know, just a nice little decorative edge. And sometimes that's really what you need. 
Okay, let's go ahead and adhere this to the front of my card, uh, to the base here. I'm gonna use the new Stampin' Seal. Have you guys got this yet? I'm really loving it. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't love it at the beginning, but I sure do now. This stuff is so sticky. I mean, like, sticky. Woo! We don't have to worry about this falling off of a card. <laughs> it's awesome. But I'm gonna tell you, when it comes to any adhesive, I like to lay my pieces down, take a good look, left, right, up, down, make sure everything is where I want it to be. Okay, now I want to do a little bit of work with this balmy blue cardstock. I have fallen in love with the greenery embossing folders. It's a two pack and you know, I didn't get the other one out, um, but I wanted to make sure you guys knew, you, you might have seen in our catalog, there's a small machine, a little mini machine and a big one. These are meant to go through the mini machine, but they will also go through a big machine. So I just didn't want you to think that the only way to use these smaller folders was in um, that mini machine. That is not the case. Let me bring in my die cutting machine and bring that up here. And this one, you can see, I've just kind of got it lined up in there, right? And let's run that through. And this is gonna give us texture. We love texture on our projects, right? I think it just makes them stand out, steps them up a little bit. Okay, so we've got our fantabulous, isn't that gorgeous? It really is pretty. Now we're gonna take this and I'm gonna add it and we're gonna cover up that uh, die cut there, or not die cut, that's a punch, but yeah, we wanna cover that up. We don't want people to see that, but trust me, they will never know because we cover up everything, but I love to save you guys cardstock. All right, so we have that done. Um, I have my um, love and I've got a couple Stampin' Dimensionals on that. So we're gonna add that just to the right of that piece of balmy blue. And you know what? I'm looking at it. Anyone else notice mine is a little bit bigger? Guess what? Doesn't matter. It's all good. Okay, we've got that now. Oh, you know what? We need to stamp the inside. Remember that piece I threw on the floor? Yeah, <laughs> that would be the one. Well, yep, it's a little bit small here in my sample too. So I've stamped Sending Love Your Way. And now I'm gonna come in with a balmy blue ink pad. And let's take Special Delivery. And this is kind of fun. We're just gonna stamp it right over. Isn't that so sweet? I love it. Now we're gonna add this to the inside of our card. Um, I'm not gonna do that because I've already got it done right here for you. So that's what it's gonna look like on the inside. But let's do just a little bit more embellishment to this. And I mentioned those great adhesive-backed sequins. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm not 100% sure of each of these colors, but um, all I know is they're gorgeous. So let's add a few. I'm gonna add two of the bigger ones. We'll go right there and about right there. And then I'll take one of these smaller ones. Do you see how with the take your pick tool, super easy to just pick those up. So we have that. And now I am going to find on my messy desk, my little ribbon knot. And, oh, my glue dots are right next to me. Isn't it terrible when you can't find the things that are right in front of your face? All right, let's take that little ribbon knot. You guys know I use this one all the time. It's just one of my favorites. I love it. Because in a little knot sometimes is all you need. So that's not a lot of ribbon. That's Oh, four inches tops of ribbon. So there we go, card number one. I think that one came out really nice, very cheery. Oh, let me show you the one with the actual inside. That is correct. So yeah, gorgeous card. Okay, let's move on to card number two. And this one I was just really pleased with because I love bluebirds. So I decided to bring in some more of that balmy blue and we've got a little tag. I'm gonna show you how to make this little tag from the punch. Um, and we're gonna say just a note. And then we've got a little bit more here on the inside. So to create this card, here's what you need. I've got my seaside, no, uh, soft sea foam. Huh. Uh, that is cut four and a quarter by 11 inches and scored at five and a half inches. 
I have two pieces of cardstock. No, for real, two pieces of cardstock, Whisper White. And these are three and three quarter by five inch. Um, and this is a kind of a flashcard. If you guys are familiar with flashcards, this is the Balmy Blue, two and three quarters by four and a quarter. And then somewhere around here, I have misplaced a piece of cardstock. Okay, well, you know what? I'm gonna take that piece I threw on the floor, because yeah, I guess I have set something down or let it fly away from me, which happens sometimes. Oh, you know what? No, I remember now. See, that. welcome to live with Connie, because we're gonna do our punching out of this piece of cardstock. That's what we're gonna do. So, are you ready? Let me grab my postage punch, and here's what we're gonna do for card number two. You're gonna come in, you're gonna put the long side up there at the top, and we're gonna punch out two postage stamps. You notice I kept them really close together, right? See that? And as long as we're kind of avoiding those edges, and here's what's gonna happen, you're never going to see it. Yep, this is what we love to do. So now I've got my two postage stamp uh, pieces and I only need one, but see, handy for when you mess up. So let me bring in my um, grid paper again and then I'm gonna take that remaining piece of cardstock. This is for the inside and I'm gonna need that too. So, oh, you know what I said, I, I know what I'm gonna do with this. I gotta show you how to make that cute tag, right? So. We're gonna take the words just a note. Are you ready? And we're going to stamp those right here at the side. And this one, we're gonna do it again here on the side. So I'm gonna set this one off for just a minute and then let me come in with my bluebirds. And I'm gonna tell you with the just a note going on the side there, this is gonna hang off of my stamp a little bit, and that is perfectly fine with me. So it's gonna look like that. And um, so let me set, we're gonna let this dry for just a minute, because you know, me and my black ink, I like to let it dry for just a sec. And um, now I'm gonna show you how to do that tag. So I'm gonna come back in with my postage punch and watch this. I hope you guys can see, I'm gonna line up the little postage, you know what, this is probably a better way to do it. I'm gonna line up the little notches in my punch. Boy, I'm like shaking from too much coffee today. There we go. And now this is officially trash, but look at my cute little tag. Oh my goodness, so cute. So now I've got my tag ready to go. And on this piece of cardstock, you know what? I should have gone ahead. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna stamp the just a note here on the side. And I'm at one of those weird angles with my camera today. So I'm like, if I'm stamping things crooked, you guys are just gonna have to forgive me. All right, there we go. So there's my birds. This is for the inside of the card, by the way. All right, so we have that, and uh, I am going to do my coloring. You know what, I think I'll do my coloring here on the inside, it's just a little bit easier. And what I'm gonna do on the inside, I'm also gonna do on this punch, okay? So it's going to be identical. Let's start, we're gonna start with the leaves, and I know that you guys have seen me do this. So we're just gonna draw our lines with the dark granny apple green, and then we will come in and we're gonna blend. Now, I did that light, didn't I? Goodness, my friends, you guys are gonna like go, we're not following Connie anymore because she can't seem to keep light and dark straight. Oh, can we just blame it on the coffee? Let's, let's do that, shall we? Or we're just gonna blame it on the month of July because, you know, that's a thing too. All right, here's the great thing about blends though. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I can go right over it now. I went over it with the dark. Look at that. We're blending perfect. I know you guys are sitting out there laughing at me right now because Connie can't seem to keep anything straight. All right. Uh, uh, you can do the branches in the lighter dark. It doesn't matter. So, okay, I just we're going to go with that. All right. So you're going to color all those in. 
Now let me show you how I'm gonna do my bluebirds, starting with the dark, so I make sure to get it right. So on the bluebirds, I colored in their wings with the dark and then the tail, okay? Now it doesn't matter, like I know there's not a line connecting that wing, it doesn't matter because we're gonna be blending, so you're not gonna see, you don't have to worry about being like nice and neat with how you uh, did the um, wing, because we're gonna blend. All right, so let's take the light and we can finish coloring in. Do you see what I mean, that blend? You don't even see that line that I created on the, on the wing. Oh, I'm telling you, the blends are like my saving grace right now and I use them on just about anything. You also notice I have grid paper underneath me. That's kind of important. <laughs> All right, so you're going to finish your leaves because I did not. You're gonna repeat that here on your um, stamped image. And through the magic of television, I have one already done for you. And through the magic of television, I actually have that one done too. Yep, I just didn't trust myself. So let's go ahead. Um, we're gonna do a little bit, um, of the embossing, find a place to set my stuff. You can only have so many spots in a stamp room. All right, coming back in with that folder, that greenery folder, you're gonna run the entire thing through, okay? Oh, you know what? Can I stop? I wanna punch first. You know whenever you emboss something, you have a choice. You can punch first or punch second. I'm going to punch first, just because I think sometimes it can be easier. And also, this is gonna give me the ability to reuse this punch. Now let's place this in our folder and let's run that through, okay? Now, so you don't have to watch me do that again. Uh, we, I do have one that's already completed there. So um, we can go ahead and I think we are actually ready to put this card together. So coming back in with that stamp and seal and we'll, Add this to the front of the card. Whoops. Every once in a while, you gotta, you gotta roll the adhesive. All right, so I'm gonna place the, uh, the punches to the right. I'm gonna be honest, it doesn't matter if it's to the right or to the left. It does not matter because we're gonna cover that up. And yeah, we're gonna cover that up too. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna get a little heavy. Well, I say I have to go heavy. You know what, this new adhesive, I don't know if I even need to. It's so strong. My goodness. I'm, well, really, I mean, can we talk about how strong this stuff is? Crazy. But we love it. We don't want our works of art to fall apart at all. Okay, we're gonna add this right here to the front. Now I'm going to take that focal image. I've got Stampin' Dimensionals on the back of this one. And we are going to add this right in that opening, right there. Okay, now I, on my original, I'm gonna show you, on my original, I had used a piece of ribbon underneath. I like to kind of give you guys options sometimes. So we can add that and you know, if I wanted to, I could lift this, I could add it. But like I said, sometimes it's just fun to show you other options. So for this one, um, I added the ribbon and then I took an additional piece, went underneath and tied. So it's great and it's really pretty. Let's say maybe you're really trying to be conservative with your ribbon, let's just add a ribbon knot, okay? So I'm just gonna turn that into a little ribbon knot. I'm going to trim it down and make it look pretty because we don't like those rough edges. And then we're gonna add our little tag right underneath this. So I think I'm gonna add this right here to the side. And I'm actually going to add my little tag first. So it's gonna go there and my little ribbon here. So I'm gonna use my mini glue dots again. So we're gonna come right here and I can kind of tuck that just underneath a little bit. Now add my little ribbon knot. So I've been kind of thinking, what would you guys think if we did a YouTube Live where you stamped right along with me? I just kind of thought, you know, if we if we kept the cards maybe kind of simple that everyone could stamp right along, I don't know, I thought that might be really fun. All right, so you can see here's my additional um, 
piece of cardstock. Nope, that's not the one. That's the one I didn't finish. We'll use the one that's really finished. And we'll add this to the inside of the card. You know, it's interesting because I used the um, Granny Apple Green on the leaves, but look at that. I'm using the soft sea foam as my card base, and I just think they complement each other so well. And some people shy away from the Granny Apple Green because they think it's so bright, but you know what? On this card, I don't think it's a problem at all. We're gonna add some rhinestones because you know, Connie loves her bling. So I'm gonna bring in just, oh, I think I'm gonna do about three, and I'm gonna use the large ones on this one. So we'll add one here. Let's add one about right there. And one more underneath here. There we go. What do you think? Those bluebirds, can you see the detail that the two blends give? Yeah, I just think that one is gorgeous. Of course, we've got something real pretty on the inside as well, so it's a really nice finished off card. All right, that was card number two. How about one more? We're gonna do a happy birthday card now. And for this card, this one I think was probably one of my favorites. I just loved it. It's so crisp and clean. I love clean and simple cards. And this one definitely fits the bill. And we didn't use a lot on this one either. Um, this one, I think I'm gonna call it a true flash card. I've got Whisper White Thick cardstock, four and a quarter by 11 inches and scored at five and a half inches, okay? And then these pieces here uh, are flash cards, if you guys are familiar with that, but it's, Balmy blue, two and three quarters by four and a quarter. Whisper white, two and a half by four. And you can see that's gonna layer right there on top. I've also got a piece of ribbon about five inches, six inches of that silver metallic edge ribbon. Okay, so, oh, I forgot. I do have one little, this is just kind of a little accent piece. Half an inch by two and a half inches. I mean, we're talking scrap here, guys. Just this little piece. Now, um. So what we're gonna do on this card, uh, before we get started, I am going to run this piece, the balmy blue. Let's go ahead and run that through the embossing folder. And while you're there, will you take this little strip and you're gonna emboss that as well. It's just gonna be a nice little accent piece to the card, okay? So um, I have that done and there is my little strip. So the embossing is done. All right, let's do some punching on this piece of cardstock. And for this one, you're going to place your cardstock into the punch, but we need to make sure it's centered. Here's a little tip. And pardon me if the camera gets a little blurry when I do this. And you're gonna line up that piece of cardstock here in the punch. Now I am at an odd angle, so I'm kind of hoping I've got that straight in there. A Little bit different when you're on camera versus when I'm um, in my stamp room. Let's see how well I did. Hey, not too bad, all right. Hey, I'm feeling really good now. Coffee kicked in. All right, so there is my focal image here, kind of my frame, if you will. And then I've got my punch. So we're gonna do some stamping. So let me bring in my grid paper again. And now we're gonna use this great floral image. This one is so pretty and I, I think you guessed it, we're gonna come back in with those blends again. But I've got a little trick I want to share with you. So I'm gonna ink that up. We'll stamp that here. And these are really easy to stamp inside that postage stamp. Even though they're not photopolymer, I've had no problems at all getting that to stamp uh, where I want it to. Okay, um, I do have one that I know is already dry and good to go. So um, I don't want to spend too much time because you guys have seen me do a lot of this. Watch, Connie's going to pick up the right Stampin' Blend this time. So you're going to do your leaves. You guys remember how we did the leaves and there are some up in here too. Um, and I'll just do that super quick. And then we're going to color in the flowers and we're gonna do that with the um, Flirty Flamingo. And remember how you just saw me do it before? Well, it's a different flower, but it's the same technique. You're just gonna kinda draw. Just get those lines on there. I'm not even trying, okay? You just, you don't have to follow anything. When it blends, it's gonna be gorgeous. So that was the dark. And now I can come in with the light 
and blend those together and it's gonna be gorgeous. All right. See, and you know, Flirty Flamingo is kind of almost a, a slight peachy pink. Just, just a little more on the peachy side. Okay, so what I wanted to show you is look at the background on my postage stamp. I didn't want it to be white because it's gonna go inside that white frame. So I'm going to come in um, I'm trying to decide if I use the dark or the light. Um, I think it's the dark. And I'm gonna come in and color. And you know what, if that thick tip is too much, here's another, this is like a great tip, are you ready? Get everything you can with the wide tip. So see all of this, we can color like really fast with that wider tip, the thick tip. So we can get all that. Now, well, you know, let me make sure I get these sides really good. There we go. Now I can come in with the thinner tip to get inside. You know, with markers, that would be kind of impossible. You would see the lines, it would look blotchy. These do not. Again, because that alcohol is doing all that great magic. Okay, so um, I'm not gonna sit here and finish coloring this in because I think you guys get the idea. That is going to dry really nice, and when it dries, it will look like this. So there's my finished, you know what, I think, because I'm gonna bring in this one. No, it does look like I used the dark. You know, sometimes I just can't even remember what I've done. Okay, let's put this card together. And for this one, I'm gonna start with the uh, embossed balmy blue here. Get our adhesive going. Okay, stuck to it again. Oh, it's great stuff though. I'm telling you, sticky is a good thing. Okay, we're gonna add that now. We're gonna get, um, oh, you know what? We're gonna do a little quick stamping on this. We need to call this a birthday card. And so I'm going to take happy birthday and I have got adhesive on my fingers. We're gonna stamp happy birthday down here at the bottom. And I messed up and that's a good thing because I have this. <laughs> I'm telling you what, I should have been a Boy Scout because look how prepared I am. All right, so I just simply attached that little half inch by uh, two and a half inch, put it right there, okay? And that just gives it a little something. Okay, I am simply just gonna lay this on here. Not gonna adhere it down just yet because I'm gonna use that kind of as a guide before I adhere. This is gonna go under, so the frame is gonna pop up. Okay, so we're gonna line that up, get it set right where you want it, and then I can just add my focal image right there. I'm just gonna move that out of the way. Guess what? I know it's perfectly centered now. Um, let's take this frame and that ribbon. We're just gonna tie this here on the side, kind of up here at the top, and we're gonna tie it in a square knot. So right over left and under. My trick with square knots, you wanna pull up and down, not left and right. Always make sure you're pulling up and down. And then we're gonna go left over right and under. Oh, come on, ribbon. <laughs> this is what happens when you have too much coffee and you kind of get those caffeine jitters. All right, there we go. You notice I did give you plenty of ribbon, by the way, so it's not, I, you know, I don't want you to think that you're gonna try to tie this little teeny tiny thing. Okay, we're gonna trim this down, and this one we're trimming down really small, okay? We want that, we want that, um, little kind of bow that we created to be very, very small. All right, I have added Stampin' Dimensionals to the back of this image, and uh, that's just gonna make, it's just gonna really give that frame, again, just that dimension and that pop that it needs. I'm addicted to uh, Stampin' Dimensionals on cards. I think that's what sets it above a store-bought card. I really do. Okay, I gotta touch them all to make sure I got them all. Anyone else do that? All my, I'm sticking to everything today. Oh, my goodness gracious. 
All right, we're gonna just line that up right over that frame. See, we're already sure we got it straight because we checked it before we started. How about a little more bling? Because you know, we love our bling. And this one, I'm gonna use these smaller rhinestones. And let's add a few of these. I think the rhinestones really complement. Well, you are just gonna run away from me. Okay, fine. That one is stubborn. Well, they, there we go. My gosh. Okay, so we'll add one there. We'll add the stubborn one. The stubborn one, you're gonna go right here. And then let's get one about right there. <laughs> All right, my friends, there is our third card. Now I will tell you for this one, I did leave the inside blank because I want room to write my message. Um, I, if I did want to add more to this, because Stampin' Blends, blends bleed through, I would want to take a pre-punched colored better than what you see here and maybe just add that to the inside if that's what you decide to do. But just remember anything on the inside, you're either gonna wanna add an additional piece of cardstock if you're using blends, which does really polish off the card. It does look nice. So just be aware you don't wanna use those blends um, on, on the actual card. You're gonna want to layer. All right, let me go ahead and bring in all three of my cards for you. And so we've got, there's the just a note. I'll bring in this one since um, that one's got that extra piece of ribbon. And then my last card has walked away from me. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. I put it up above. There we go. So there are our cards. Guys, all done, one stamp set. We used all the stamps in the stamp set. Oh, and I should say that was a bundle because we did want the postage um, stamp punch. I do want to tell you, you could um, do these cards without that and you could cut these. Um, I don't know the exact measurement, but um, I can look that up for you and um, post it there in the blog post. But yeah, it's, it's a simple way to just add a really great texture. But guys, the bundle is so worth it. Remember, you save 10%. And I just think it's the postage look that really makes these cards look amazing. All right, give me just a second. I'm gonna flip my camera around so we can chat before we go. And I can hear uh, what you guys have to say and I'll share a little bit more about what's happening on my end. All right, how about a little more coffee? Of course, and I think I just spilled it too. It's a Thursday. <laughs> guys, thank you so much for joining me. Um, I hope you enjoyed the cards, little mistakes and all. That's the beauty of life. So thank you for allowing me to make those mistakes. But um, I hope that you will learn from my mistakes and uh, only have two cups of coffee before you stamp and I think you'll, you'll do it just fine. So, um, hey, if you enjoyed the video, if you like the cards today, give me a thumbs up on YouTube. If you have crafting friends, I would be so pleased and tickled if you would share my channel with your friends. That would be awesome. My channel is simply Connie Stewart. I was very creative when I created the channel, right? I was Connie Stewart at the time. Well, I guess I still am, but you know what I'm saying. Connie Stewart is the name of my YouTube channel. Um, and uh, yeah, leave me a comment as well. I'd love to hear from you. Um, now, all the supplies for today's card. If you will look down in that YouTube description, there is a link and it will show you everything that I created today. You'll see the measurements, you'll see photos, You'll see the complete supply list. And if you would like to place an order, you'd like to maybe get that posted for you bundle, guess what? You can click a pick and it's gonna take you right to my online store and you can order that right there. Guys, if you do not have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to be your demonstrator. So I would be thrilled if you would choose me um, when you're placing your order. And if you um, don't have a demonstrator and you would like a new catalog, well, you can get one of those from me as well. Go to simplysimplestamping.com and way up at the top, you're gonna see a link that says, want a catalog? Click it, give me your information and I will get one mailed out to you. I do need to clarify that that is only for the United States. Sorry, uh, we are limited to sharing only here in the United States, but if you're outside of the United States, we can get you fixed up. Just go to stampinup.com, look for your co country's flag, and you'll be able to find yourself a demonstrator there. Okay, uh, hey, real quick, if you guys love freebies, 
and I hope you do. Um, I want to encourage you to subscribe to my newsletter. It's going to be going out real soon, and there's a free tutorial in there, some fun information um, that I think you're going to love. We try to send out a newsletter uh, once or twice a month for you um, with just some really fun things in it. That's going to be going out soon. If you would like to subscribe to my newsletter, go to simplysimplestamping.com. If you hang out for just a few seconds, you're going to see a pop-up where you can subscribe to the newsletter, and I want to encourage you to do that because, hey, who doesn't love some like little free fun emails twice a month, right? So be sure to do that. All right, bonus days are still happening at Stampin' Up! So remember, if your order is $50 or more, uh, Stampin' Up! is going to send you a $5 coupon that you're going to be able to use in August. And I believe it's August 4th through the 31st. 30 days has September, April, June, and November. Okay, no, that would be August 31st. And uh, yeah, that's going on right now, so you're going to want to take advantage of that. But bonus, if you use the host code, okay, you're going to be able to find the host code there at simplysimplestamping.com. If you use the host code on your order of $50 or more, let me tell you, there's some, there's some more freebies I got for you. So you're going to get that $5 coupon to use in August, and you're going to be able to use that on the new holiday catalog. So that's the timing couldn't be you know, any better, right? Uh, you're also going to get, when you use that host code, you're going to get the Peony Garden Tutorial Collection from me and the Gold Glimmer Enamel Dots. Oh my gosh, free bling. Yep, that is a gift from me that's going to come in your thank you card um, uh, after the 1st of August. I will mail that out to you. But yeah, you can really clean up this month. I mean, a $50 order, you get a $5 coupon to use next month, you get a tutorial collection, and you're going to get some gold glimmer dots. Now, if your order is uh, $30 or more and you use that host code, I am still going to send you the tutorials. So I just encourage you, use that host code. And then, like I said, get ready. Stampin' Up's going to send you an email with that bonus code. Save it, flag it, print it, tape it to the refrigerator, whatever you have to do to hold on to that email with that code, because once it's sent, that's it. That's the only way we can get it to you. So hold on to that. Okay. Who wants to see what's up for next month? Next month. How about next week? How about next year? Anyone else? Okay. So next week is going to be a YouTube premiere. Premieres are a little, little bit different than lives because premiere, I recorded it but I'm still chatting with you live. This is kind of one of my favorites because I get to chat with you. I'm in the chat box while you're watching the video where when I'm live and I'm trying to create, I can't read comments and create at the same time. So next week is going to be at 7 p.m. Central Time. That is going to be on July 23rd, okay? July 23rd. We're gonna have some fun. I've got three more cards for you next month, next week. Oh, oh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Three cards next week, and it's a premiere, not a live. We're going to case the catalog. If you're familiar with the word case, it stands for copy and share everything. And uh, we're going to be using one layout and creating three cards. So let me show you the first card and see if you recognize it. Do you guys recognize that card? I love this card. Oh, look, there's that postage stamp. Yeah, we used it. Let me show you. If, you, if you're trying to figure out, I feel like I've seen that. Let me show you where you've seen it. It's on the front of the catalog. Yeah, I figure if the artist at Stampin' Up! can create that, why should I not recreate it, right? Well, I loved that so much. That kind of inspired me to go, well, what else can I do with that layout? So I've got a sweet little baby card done with the exact same layout. And then the next one, I changed up and I made a masculine birthday card and I went horizontal with it instead of vertical and kind of changed some of the direction of things. Yeah, so, oh, and get this, you're gonna get a free tutorial next, next week. So be sure to tune in because there's gonna be a free tutorial and a free download with a creative juice sketch featuring this layout. And that means when you download that and you're struggling, the mojo's not there, what am I gonna do? Well, you can look at that sketch and go, that's what I can do. I just need to cut those pieces of cardstock and boom, I've got a card. So you're going to want to tune in um, next week for that. Just remember that's going to be at 7 p.m. Central Time. It's not going to be in the afternoon. 
Okay, my friends, thank you again so much for joining me. I hope that you found some good inspiration today. I love sharing with you. It's the highlight of my week. So thank you again for being here. I will see you guys next time. I'm gonna have some more coffee, bye.